boy, it's been a while. Every time I get in front of the camera, I need like 20 minutes to figure out how to not be awkward. What am I even filming? I don't even know what this video is gonna be. Maybe I should think before I talk. So maybe I should think before. Maybe next time I'll think before I talk. Hello, YouTube. What is up? It's been a hot minute since I've just sat down and filmed a regular video. That's really sad because I told myself I'd be more committed to this channel over the summer and now it's August and that obviously has not happened. I've been filming some other things which will be discussed shortly but I will try to be more committed to this. So this video is going to be five tips for back to school because there are some people that are going back to school later this month and if that's you, RIP, I'm so sorry. I figured I'd get this video out now so that if you're going back to school earlier then you'll have these tips to get through your school year. And I'm the type of person that gets everything done early just so there's less stress later on and my friends hate me for it because they're always cramming the night before and I'm like, just don't procrastinate. Hopefully, if you follow these tips, you will be able to have less stress in the future and succeed and get good grades. Let's just get on into it. So, my first tip, and probably my most important one, is to plan your work. There's a lot going on in life with school, work, and even just hanging out with your friends. So it's really helpful to make a schedule for yourself and write it down to separate your work so you do a reasonable amount each day. That way you're not overwhelmed all at once and you're not doing everything the night before. So for example, for my English assignment, I have to read a book and take notes. So what I do is tell myself I'll read like 10 pages per day and I stick to that. I also try to make my schedule flexible so if I miss a day then I don't have to stress and you know maybe instead of reading 10 pages per day I'll just read 12 pages to make up for whatever I missed. My next piece of advice is to make your notes look good. Like try to make them neat and easy to read when you're taking them in class. Also, something I like to do is to rewrite my notes at home and make them prettier. And I mean, like, Pinterest vision board pretty. Because, I don't know, rewriting my notes actually really helps me when studying. Because, for some reason, I'm just more likely to remember the information if I write it down. Honestly, if I make it all pretty and colorful, I'll be so proud of my work that I'll want to look at it more. I don't know if that's weird, but... Be sure to focus on getting the important information when you're in class, and then you can go ham with the colors and fancy fonts. My next tip might not apply to everyone, honestly. It really just depends on you. But I like listening to music when I do homework or study. For some, it might be distracting, but me personally, I'm more likely to be distracted by random noises like my dog barking or something like that. So I suggest some really calm, soothing music without any comprehensible lyrics so you don't end up just jamming out to it. you're listening to my new single reasons which is up on itunes and spotify shameless plug okay but no seriously like soft piano music or like some classical stuff is said to boost your brain activity or something like that so if music doesn't distract you then i suggest trying it out next tip is also really important and that is to give yourself breaks trust me if you just work for three hours straight you're gonna want to die so i suggest taking like a 15 minute break every once in a while to just go on your phone watch videos or eat food 
It'll help you de-stress and to kind of reset your brain so you're not tiring it out. And this is especially helpful if you're doing more creative projects and you're not putting out your best work. My final tip is super, super important, and if you don't take anything else away from this video, then at least remember this. Success is not based on how intelligent you are, but how self-disciplined you are. If Einstein was a lazy ass, then he wouldn't be Einstein, you know what I mean? So stick to those work schedules. Don't tell yourself you'll do it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Don't tell yourself you'll just wing a test if you don't know the lesson. Study it and work hard. But at the same time, don't get overly stressed over it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, that was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys liked it. Maybe these tips helped you. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're into that. Wish you all the best of luck in the upcoming school year. And yeah, adios.